Okay guys, this is all cleaned up. Drying up right now, I'm about to start uh, painting it with high heat silver paint. So this person's really nice, Nick. His name is Nick. He's been uh, working on my cylinder head. And, you know, he loves old school cars too. And he's a big enthusiast. I'm just going to give him this uh, little hot wheel right here of C126. Just also to say thank you that he helped me out with everything. All right, guys. I'm just driving to pick up the cylinder head for the S124 wagon from Napa. They called me. They said it's ready. Uh, they shaved off Nick. Uh, Who's the engine guy he shaved off uh, nine thousands of an inch so he said uh, the head is all ready to go pretty much um, and yeah I just uh, have to lap the valves clean the valves myself mm, and yeah I just wanted them to resurface that cylinder thank God everything is good like they didn't have to like if we were able they were able to resurface it it means that no one else previously like had it resurfaced and everything so that's really good news yeah i'm really really excited to pick it up and he said that after it was resurfaced there's a, you still have like about seven thousandths of an inch to play with uh if ever needed so oh there's my baby all back a few moments later okay guys here's the cylinder head looking beautiful amazing all resurfaced right here nine thousands of an inch was taken off okay and that pitting that was right here it's basically gone it's just a little bit right here to left over but it's not going to cause anything at all just small amount okay and uh, now i'm going to start cleaning these valves so i'm going to tape everything with blue tape all the way around here and then we're gonna start on cleaning these valves right here. I'm gonna be using a bunch of brass brushes and everything on a drill to clean this. But first I need to tape everything carefully with blue masking tape so I don't score any of this head gasket surface. So <clears throat> this is almost all cleaned up. What I ended up using is just a scotch bright with the brake cleaner. I didn't want to use those uh, brass wire wheels because I didn't want to like on accident score the cylinder head surface, whatever. But yeah, this is all I'm clean and I'm gonna start taking the valves out one by one. So I've got these the surface cleaned up and straight for the intake manifold gasket okay um, this is also cleaned up right here with a little coolant hose is gonna go and yeah I'm just gonna start removing these two valves on the first cylinder I'm using this valve spring compressor tool that's what it looks like I'm gonna be compressing the valve or the valve spring and taking everything out cylinder one so it compressed this valve but it's basically stuck together so it happens so you just have to kind of grab a socket like this and give it a little bit of a tapping you know when it's when the tool is not on it basically like this so I have to try it on this one yeah, I'm just gonna install that socket, tap a couple times, and then try to compress the spring again. Well, here's one of the valves, this intake valve from number two cylinder. <clears throat> and I got it cleaned up really well, actually. The valve looks pretty good. And yeah, I'm gonna lap this valve here shortly. I'm gonna do that one. Yeah, I wanted to start with the cylinder one, but these are, I have to work with them a little bit. They're still a little bit stuck, but. Here are the keepers right there for this valve. And yeah, make sure you have everything marked up and 
you know, don't uh, mix anything up. Exhaust valve now. And you can push down on the over push up on the valve from underneath. Yeah, so now we just mainly need to grab these uh, keepers. Now take a look, this valve stem seal and that one, they're different, okay? So this valve stem seal like, looks like this, it goes on the uh, intake side, the one that's basically smooth on top goes on the exhaust side. Okay, so this is the old <clears throat> valve stem seal, it's actually still pliable, but this is original, never been replaced, so we're going to be changing all this. And then start to clean a little bit more here. I'm going to lap the valve right now. The valve is actually really clean. I just got to lap it right now. So let's get started. To lap the valve, I'm going to use the valve grinding compound. And I also have the tool for that. I'm going to be doing it by hand. Use a Q-tip to clean inside of the valve guide. Okay, so here's the tool I'm gonna be using. And you know, some people say that, oh, they can uh, do it by hand. Some people say they can do it with a drill. I'm gonna just do it safe. I'm gonna do it by hand, back and forth motion, multiple times of grinding compound and the valve. Also, I'm gonna use oil. I'm gonna oil up the stem as well. So this valve is ready to go. I put oil on the stem and valve grinding compound on right here where it's going to be mating right here with the <clears throat> with that spot on the solder head and yeah I'm going to go ahead and install it now okay push it in there cool and yeah simply now just install this guy suction cup and then kind of go back and forth but i'm going to be using both hands for that so this tool is really tricky um it was didn't want to like stick before to the valve. Now I was able to do it. I just had to put some water on the rubber, the silicone portion of this, and then it made a seal. So now it's great. So now you go back and forth in one spot, and then you switch it, and you go right here back and forth. Like you will see, you will hear the difference in how it sounds. It's basically cutting it in. This is what it looks like. After cutting it right here, lapping, it's actually pretty good. I don't know if the camera is gonna be showing that, but it's not bad at all. This is what the valve looks like right here, all cleaned up, lapped. Beautiful. All right, so cleaned up this valve as much as possible. Now I'm gonna lap it. Cover this up already. And clean that one up and covered it. Okay, ready to do the next one. Oiled up and grinding compound. Thank you. 
All right, I'm installing this valve now. Cleaned it all up, put oil in the stem. This is looking really good too. And then after I install this, I'm gonna change the stem seals. Same with this one, the intake one. Got brand new custom seals ready to install. Okay guys, so it's super easy to pull this valve stem seal. Should be able to, if it's not hard, should be able to just do it by hand like that. And then these two are brand new. So the one we're gonna use is this one right here. Okay, compare it to the old one. The diameter is different, all right? So the intake valves have a smaller diameter than the exhaust. The exhaust one's bigger. Before I install the new stem seal, you have to reinstall this plate. A little bit of oil over there. plate on you have to put the plate on first otherwise it's not gonna get it and as you can see it has notches in there so they have to line up and lock in place so once it locks in you can't move it one or the other way it just stays locked in like that uh, to, before installing stem seal, put this protectant on, like that. New stem seal, just kind of soak it in there. And grab your new stem seal, slide it over that. a little bit of patience let's see maybe I shouldn't even use this yeah just carefully yeah I probably have to anyways I ended up shortening this protector right here and now we're gonna retry it again So the valve is going down, so you gotta support the valve from underneath too. One more time. There we go. There we go. Just push it on there. There you go. She's on. So this one was stubborn, so I have to use some pliers to help me out with that carefully. I can slide it out. Got cooked in there a little bit. See that? Gotta clean that. All right, both valves, springs, everything is back on. I'm gonna move on to the rest of the cylinders. I'm not gonna film everything here. I'm just gonna do it. Okay, this valve is also done, or this valve seat. It's pretty smooth. There's the valve right there. Cleaned up too. It's the exhaust in there. Also lapped this. It's as best as I was able to get it by hand. New valve stem seals installed. All right, guys, I'm assembling everything back now. The camshaft, all everything is looped up. 
ready to go. Okay, and I made a mark. I'm gonna align it with that mark. I'm gonna start putting the rocker arms and add an oil there. And then don't forget your ball socket cups that go on top here before you install the rocker arms. All right, now I can go ahead and tighten this camshaft. The way I'm gonna do it is, actually the manual doesn't specify exactly uh, the sequence of tightening, but I started each bolt by hand as much as possible. Also, this is top dead center, so make sure that you leave space for some of the valves that are gonna be opening once you tighten it. And then I'm just gonna go basically kind of like the head gasket sequence. So all these bolts from the middle all the way to the back uh, to the outside and the specified torque is 21 newton meters or 185 inch pounds so don't forget that it's really important and i'm gonna do each bolt kind of like a little bit here a little bit here a little bit here like evenly basically it's really important you don't want to damage the camshaft or break it now everything is installed Everything's bottomed out. Also, don't forget to install the sewer pipe. You have to install it before you install the rocker arms. Yeah, so 21 Nm. That's the torque for all these bolts. All right, guys, I'm back at Rain's house. And today, uh, as you can see, he has amazing baby bends.